Hey guys, welcome to episode number 336. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And today I wanted to walk through how I was able to seal this PVC gutter material. Um, now this is a little test that I've been performing and it's related to this project that I'm starting to brainstorm here around using a marina breeder box um, and making a breeding rack system using those breeder boxes and gutter material. Now these are the gutter pieces that connect from the top of your gutter on the roof and channel the water all the way down to the ground. Um, and essentially these fittings are not meant to be watertight with the pipes themselves. Um, but obviously if I'm using it in a uh, sump overflow system they need to be waterproof. Uh, this is significantly less expensive than a PVC pipe of the same size, so I wanted to sort of experiment. Uh, so this is what I did. On this side I used just a basic PVC primer and cement, and uh, I was able to get enough of that in this seam that it made it completely waterproof, just as if you were connecting um, a PVC pipe to a connector and uh, you can see there's water standing in there and there's no water on the paper towel that's been sitting there for two days now um, so that looks like it worked and then on the other side I wanted to try something else out in case the PVC cement didn't work and so what I went and did was I bought some water welt and uh, that's a, basically a two-part epoxy putty and the important part is that it says drinking water safe that means it's potable water safe. That means if it's safe for humans, it's safe for fish. And uh, what I did here was instead of trying to get it on the inside where these two pieces of PVC connect, what I did was I just kind of spread it along the seam on the outside and I spread it along the seam on the inside. And that also worked. I'm not quite so sure that this worked as well as the weld over here because this chemically bonds this entire surface area together which is great because it means the chance of leaking is pretty small um, over here I'm just sort of stopping the water at two very small points so if this was to flex or bend um, or get bumped this technically could crack and a leak could form um, but again there are no leaks on this side either so I would call that a successful test. I think what I'm going to move forward and do is just use the uh, PVC cement um, method here on this side. And then if I do notice that there are any small leaks, what I can do is use the rest of that water weld like this and just uh, patch up any of those small leaks if, if they do end up pairing. But uh, that was the little test. I thought it was worth sharing. Uh, obviously this is not going to be a pressurized system but I figured if I cut out little windows in the tops of this and allowed my water to overflow into it and sloped it gently at an angle this would be a really cheap material to use to kind of divert my uh, overflow water into a sump system so hope you guys enjoyed hope you learned a little something and I'll see you guys later